This right here is a fuse and fuse holder. It allows me to test these things. The reason why I need one is actually this right here. See that little dot right there? That's where I dumped a whole bunch of amps into something that could not handle it. So I have this now, but I wanna see where a three amp fuse breaks. This is a three amp fuse. The wire in there is pretty thin and I got this on Amazon. It comes a little weird. It comes in a ring, so you gotta cut it, I guess. Now I got both ends. I have to set up for 12 volts. Um, I got it at three right now. I'm gonna put that down a little bit. So it's holding two, two volts, I mean two amps really easily, approaching that three amps. So I'll need to be pulling three amps occasionally. So it looks like it's gonna hold three amps just fine. I think I'll go half a volt, half an amp at a time. So it's, it's holding. Okay, four and a half. Okay, it's still not popped. Five. I don't know if this is ever gonna pop. So it popped at 10 amps. It's a little bit lower than I need it. Here's another three amp fuse I'll try in a minute. Okay, I don't know if you can read this, but that says five amps. Okay, right at five amps. So it seems like things just pop at like 10 amps instead of being where I think they should be. So a three amp. And then I'm just gonna hold it at five amps for a little while, okay? So I'm expecting it to blow eventually. Um, this is not exactly where I want it because this board right here, it was only pulling like seven amps for a couple of seconds and then it blew. Yeah, this would be too long, so I'm going to call it. I mean, like it's warm, but that's not enough 